Do you really need a VPN today? Now, I know what you're thinking. Look, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or anything dodgy, who really cares if your ISP has access to what you're doing online, right? Yep, that's how pretty much the conversation goes whenever I speak to someone about online security. So today, let me show you why you should absolutely care, even if you're just innocently browsing the web. Okay, let's do this. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, so before we get into it, I'm going to ask you to do something right now. Wherever you are in the world, I want you to get up right now and scream out your social security number and your credit card information. Not keen for some reason? Okay. How about getting up and screaming out your browsing history? Now, did you even hesitate a little bit trying to remember what websites you visited? Look, you know that every single time you do anything online, you leave a digital footprint. Regardless if you're just reading a website, sending an email, it's all logged and it's all tracked. In a world where we are all digital profiles, it's crazy not to protect your personal data. Just like you protect your social security number or your identity number or your ATM pin code, why on earth are you okay with a company that you pay a monthly subscription fee to to take your personal data and sell it to their business partners so they could build a better profile on you? But it isn't just about targeted ads. Remember those innocent online activities? Okay. Let's have a look at those. Perhaps you're not feeling well and you're searching WebMD to work out what you may have or you may not have. Do you really want your health insurance company knowing about that? Maybe you heard a great track and instead of buying it on iTunes, you just went to YouTube, found that song and then, well, kind of downloaded it. That's copyright infringement. Perhaps you search for that special herb that isn't really legal in your state or in your country or perhaps you're on a job hunting website which i'm pretty sure you don't want your boss to know about in extreme cases you might be in a country where the government is ridiculously strict and even innocent online searches can land you in hot water with the local police now right about now is when i get people saying dude i'm safe i use incognito mode uh no Incognito mode doesn't protect your data and your ISP can certainly see the websites you visit. Incognito mode mainly has to do with storing cookies on your computer and I have an entire dedicated video which is up here somewhere and in link in the description you can check it out after this video. So incognito mode is certainly not a security measure. But wait a minute, aren't all websites encrypted with HTTPS? Yes, that is correct. Websites are encrypted with HTTPS. It means your data is encrypted, but the website name is still available to your ISP. And remember, it's not just your ISP that you have to worry about. Every single website that you hit out there, they get a whole bunch of information that your computer automatically sends to them without your knowledge, such as your IP address, your location, your operating system, even the size of your screen. And it's not just the websites you have to worry about. Remember, anything you do online, including emails and social media and streaming, all of that leaves a digital footprint. So now we understand the issue. There are several ways that you can fix it. And the most common one is using a VPN. Now, what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And its main function is to protect you and your online privacy by encrypting your data. Now, before anyone jumps into the comments and say that you can just use a browser that automatically does encryption, that is 100% true. However, it only encrypts your web browsing. It doesn't do it for your email, your Discord traffic, your streaming via the apps or anything else that uses the internet. So how does a VPN actually work? Well, you have software that's installed on your phone or on your computer and the data is encrypted. Then it is sent to the VPN provider server and from there it is sent out to the internet. Therefore, if anybody's trying to eavesdrop on your traffic, like you're in a public Wi-Fi trying to access your favorite website, they're not going to know what you're up to. They're not going to be able to see any of that information. Now, your VPN also makes your IP address invisible. Therefore, your location is not available to anybody that wants it. So it helps with geo-locked websites that streaming services like BBC and Netflix. It also means that ads that rely on location are pretty much useless. Well, because they don't have that information on you anymore. 
All right, so this sounds too good. What are the downside of a VPN? Well, because everything is encrypted as it travels between you and your VPN provider and then onto the internet, there is going to be some speed implication. Usually it's pretty negligible, but it can be dramatic based on your ISP speed. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, if you do a quick Google search for a VPN provider, there are literally hundreds of them out there. So you need to look out for one that says that they don't keep logs, which means that the VPN provider doesn't actually record the website you're visiting. Otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of this whole thing. You should also look out for a VPN provider that use RAM based servers. That means that every single time the servers are rebooted for whatever reason, all that data is automatically deleted. Of course, even if your VPN provider say that they don't keep logs, well, realistically, we cannot know for sure. So another downside of a VPN is, well, since you're getting a new IP address every single time you connect, it means that some websites will warn you, hold on, a new person is trying to access your account from whichever country is that you. Well, of course, it's a great security measure, but it does mean an extra step in your journey. So, do you really need a VPN today? Absolutely. Let me know if you want me to look into some VPN providers, but in the meantime, check out these security videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.